Hello everyone out there and welcome to another Nancy Drew game. This is game number 32. This is a game that it's coming, it came right before the new Nancy Drew that's supposed to be coming out I think sometime this year. Um, it was supposed to come out last year sometime and it got pushed back. Um, I don't know if this is like the other Nancy Drew games, but every Nancy Drew game I've played seems that they are mostly dated in like the early 90s or something. I don't know what it is. Uh, hopefully Nancy Drew got an update and she stopped being so weird. <laughs> well, she's probably not stopping being weird. She's going to always be weird. But anyways... <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and try this game out. I'm still playing 999, the nonary game, so don't worry about that. I'm not going to forget about that game. Say I'm having fun with it. Um, and the other games, I'll go back and play. Like I said in my last video, I'm not able to play the uh, Resorting to Danger uh, game because I don't have the CD anymore. And yeah, can't install it on my new computer. So I'll figure out something with that. All right, let's go. And um, we are always the master sleuth, but hmm, I think I need the task list though. It's kind of hard to play it without your task list because I. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try it as a master, master sleuth. I can't talk today. Master sleuth and um, see what happens. Thought they said my shit. <laughs> All right, so of course we've got Nancy Drew's room, and you cannot turn around and look. Somebody's mowing the yard. It's just a photo inside of a game of the outside. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyways, so let's see what we got here. I'm not even gonna try that. Nancy, I got your contact info through a friend of mine, Moira Chisholm. I think you did some good sleuthing work for her in Scotland not too long ago. Uh, first, some background on yours truly. You could officially call me a locator of fine goods. Nope. Uh, things get lost, nice things stay buried for a while. Uh, it's a long letter out to restore a ship. Uh, when the ship arrived, it was empty, no Magnus, no sign of a struggle. He's just gone. Um, okay, so someone named Magnus is missing, and we need to find him. This person's name is Dagny. I don't even know. Going to Iceland. Finally made it to town. Oh, it's freezing out here. Hi there. Are you Miss Silva? Finally, she arrives. I think I'm half made of ice at this point. So, you're Nancy, huh? I'm Dagny. I'm part of the ship restoration team, the one who called you in. You can call me Boss Lady if you want. Or My Queen. Or Dagny, whatevs. Uh, let's go with Dagny for now and work our way up to the big stuff. <laughs> can I help? Yes. Find my missing, skeeving, backstabbing business partner, Magnus. I'm sensing you're a little stressed out about this. Ugh. I'm so mad I've been an inch away from setting this town on fire. On fire? Are you okay? What? Oh, just a fire comment. I thought... Metaphors, Nancy. Keep up with me here. So listen. Right now I'm focused on this town, Skivrot. There's this ship in town that was being rebuilt. Real old, 18th century. 
I offered to sponsor the rebuilding project to get the ship floating again. Mostly because I'm super nice and cool like that. But also because there's a rumor about a treasure on board worth millions. Magnus, the man in charge of the project, and my business partner, promised we'd find it and split the earnings. But he's gone missing now? Yep. And left me looking like a fool. Was there any proof that he disappeared intentionally? He disappeared some time before our ship crashed into the harbor. They say he must have fallen in the water. But the guy sails for a living. You know what sailors don't do? Drown. This girl is intense. But I like these graphics. Um, it's definitely a step up from the normal Nancy Drew games. It's almost like Siberia type graphics. Oh, and I will be playing Siberia 3. Even though I have not played 2. Because it will not record an OBS. So, well, I've played 1 and 2, but just not on the channel. Let's see here. That doesn't prove he disappeared on his own. After enough time in the biz, a girl knows when she's being backstabbed. If he did find the treasure, I need you to track down Magnus and make him play fair. And if I find the treasure, I'll find Magnus. Yes. The key to finding the treasure is learning about that ship. So everything's interconnected. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Can I take a look at the ship? Technically, yes. Awesome. How do I get on board? By not being me, apparently. Elizabeth controls the ship, and she hates my guts. She removed the gangway to my ship that I paid for. Did she give you a reason? Oh, something about her family line and ancient blood feuds and murders and, you know, normal boring stuff. Talk to Soren, the festival organizer. He'll make sure she lets you on. What do people in town think about Magnus's disappearance? They're all like, ooh, the ocean is super dangerous in the winter. And ooh, hypothermia and blah, blah, blah. You know, Icelander stuff. But without a body, you're still convinced he faked his death. Yep. Which apparently doesn't take a lot of work in Iceland. <laughs> do we want to know all this? Um, I kind of do. How'd you meet Magnus? I heard about the rumor of the treasure through my connections. Then I approached him. He's a hard guy to pin down, that Magnus. Turns out he's been looking for the treasure for years. I just happened to come in at an opportune moment. What would Magnus do with a treasure? Desperately wants to buy his own ship. He's a ship guy. Ship guys are like that. So the ship he helped rebuild isn't his? We funded it, but it's town property. Goodbye. See ya, Drew. Okay, so that is it for that. Um, we just met Dagny. <laughs> she is super intense. Um, now, how do I move around? It doesn't seem like it has the little, um, ah, there we go. Arrows. What's this? Oh. Okay, so... We're gonna go over to that ship and talk to Soren. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Good day. Gunner. Hi there. I'm investigating a recent disappearance. My name's Nancy Drew. Speak up, girl. My name's Nancy Drew. Louder! I said my name's Nancy Drew. Mind your ship flag and temper. Looks like we got a real angry one here. Name's Gunnar, but you can call me Gunnar. The skip is my home. Oh. Oh my god. No, oh, I just got myself trapped in freaking dialogue. Um. You Magnus. Did you know Magnus? Sure did. Never liked him. Mm, I don't care. Did something happen between you two? No, I don't like anyone. I don't think I like you. I'm still gumming it over. So I take it you weren't friends. Gunnar doesn't need friends. Already have two mug and chair. I got a name for you. This is Joel in 30 years. Seriously. Well, not 30 years. 
Yeah, yeah. That'd be about right. See, he should be about 40, 30 ish something. And this guy looks like he's around 68 ish, late 60s. Yep. This is future Joel. Because uh, he does. He really does look like Joel from The Last of Us. Um. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> What is? I'm all out of cash. You come to Iceland? This is so neat. I wish I could play these. Okay, you played them. Happy? Um. What? Thought I was stuck. What is this? Customize your gear. Oh my god, all this reading. Just take that. Anything else I can steal? No? Okay. Alright, so let's go find Soren. Still at the bar. Hey, girl! Oh my god, no! I actually do have a name, you know. It's Nancy. Get your little lady bones into the prep area and get some Tormotor orders ready. It's all hands on deck for the lunch rush at the Misty Skip. I'm a sleuth, not a chef. Are you sure you want me back there handling the sharp stuff? You're eating and lodging here for free, just like me. So it's only fair to get some good work out of you. Well, might as well take a stab at it. Um, I'm about to stab somebody. Gunnar, I'm going to be spending all the time on the ship of the festival this weekend. As a reminder, here are the rules of my absence. All mugs and dishes must be clean. Customers must be sure served promptly. Yes, even if they are tourists. No calling customers weak, spine, needy faces. No challenging customers to fights. Yes, this includes arm wrestling as discussed. All fish must be cleaned at the cleaning station outside, not in the middle of the bar. No bellowing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh my god, fill the Tormatur tray according to the order quests. All requests must be filled. Oh gosh. What have I gotten myself into? Retro. Okay, time to get to work. And this this? Oh, so there's four, so yeah, I'm out of here. Um, let's see here. So let's see if Soren is anywhere to be found today. Didn't even know this stuff was here. Hi there. I'm looking for Soren. You must be Nancy. I'm Soren, the organizer of the Ancestors Festival. I run the Culture Center here in Skipra. Nice to meet you. Can you help me get onto the ship? Ah, the Herlikai. Is Elizabeth not manning the gangway? The gangway's missing, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Well, that's highly unusual. I'll take care of it straight away for you. Elizabeth is a rose, truly. But she does have thorns. Do you have anything which might help with my investigation? Hmm. If I'm not in town, I'm always locked up in here. I do have some very nice pamphlets, though. The Pamphlet Lover's Journal rated them a 9 star out of 10. <laughs> I put them together myself. Here's one for your troubles. Well, it's hard to turn down an award-winning pamphlet. <laughs> I'll see if I can make use of it. Thanks, Soren. Goodbye. Well... On with it. What do we get here? Um, I feel like Hey, 
Who let you on board? If you're here for the festival, it's cancelled. I didn't mean to intrude. I'd just like to have a look around, if that's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a visitor. I know you're a tourist. We're a town of 300. I am not a tourist. I'm here to investigate. Thanks for setting up that gangway for me, by the way. The gangway was meant for Soren. I didn't know he planned to let strangers on board. Are you with that snake of a woman? It's complicated. If you're after just the gold, I want nothing to do with you. Leave. Wait, I'm not after any treasure. I just want to help find Magnus. Magnus? Look, I think we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Maybe I should start over. My name's Nancy. It's really nice to meet you. I'm Elizabeth. I run the Misty Skip pub in town. What do you want with Magnus? Oh, good. So you know him? Hmm. That's a question, isn't it? I thought I knew him. Maybe I was wrong. Were you very close with him then? No. No, we weren't close. And I want nothing to do with the man. Um. Goodbye. <laughs> what do you think happened to Magnus? The current rumor is that he fell overboard. Do I think he is drowned? Is that what you're asking? I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Some people think he ran off with some old treasure. It may be a coincidence. It may not. Danny doesn't think it was a coincidence at all. So, you've been talking to the others? Just a bit here and there. Even if the treasure were real, Magnus wouldn't be able to find it. He's completely oblivious. To the world. To everything. The man lives in the cabin in the mountains. Too lofty to concern himself with human affairs. I'll let you go. Bye. Ugh. Hey, get out of there! <laughs> I can't snoop! I need to get rid of her somehow. Snoop in here. What we got going on here? Looks like Dagny's been doing a little sleuthing of her own. Is that a password? do anything with that so it won't turn on missing batteries I think oh take it what that it's telling me to look again here but it's nothing there I heard it like a freaking thousand legs on the spider there's a spider in this game, or any type of bug, I quit. I quit. Alright, um, ooh, this is lovely. Okay, a little cipher here, probably. Someone's suitcase. They look really happy. Maybe a picture of Magnus. Oh, they were an item. That's why she's acting like she didn't care about him. She probably thinks he ran off with another woman. And I wouldn't blame him because she is a pill. I think I need to get all the wooden sections pressed down. Okay. <laughs> Dear Elizabeth, hi, miss you. Fitja? M? Magnus. The entire point of the 
exercise is to communicate. That means long letters. I only get to see you once a week. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Wine, wine, wine. Uh, nothing important. Elizabeth, fine. We can get to a tree. We can get a tree. No decorations. Never decorations. The Limerick's book. Coming along well. Blah, blah, blah. When I return. Nothing important. This is skip. Where's a sense of holiday cheer? La 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 la. Wine, wine, wine. Magnus seems pretty insistent over this long spiel thing. I need, I need a long, long spiel, please. I promise to take good care of it. I love you. Stay warm. Oh, I can't take the letters. Evidence? I guess not. Darn. Um, so there. Each row of the column comes to the right. Both dogs are somewhere to the left. Dogs are adjacent. We'll find out what that's about. I don't know what I'm taking. I've got a full inventory right now. Locator. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Okay, so I have to snoop her bag somehow. Oh my god, how am I gonna distract her? Okay, what we got going on over here? Wow, an antique desk, and it's in pristine condition. <laughs> Time to break it open. <laughs> I need to figure out the rules being used in each row here. What the frick is this, Sudoku? No, there's no clue to it right now, so we'll come back to that later. Don't want to waste time. That freaking sound. What is? Oh, another pushy button puzzle. We'll find that out later. Ooh, pins. What am I going to do with those? I don't know. All right, each row. I don't have the piece for that. Oh, got a call. Hello. Hey, Ned. Are you still on your way? Hey, Ned. No, I'm already here. Oh, good. How close are you? Getting closer all the time. I feel like I'm definitely near to a breakthrough. Cool. I can't wait. It's hard to get people to talk, though. Get people to talk? Yes. I've managed to narrow down that the treasure is related to the ship somehow, but beyond that, I haven't figured out the specifics. Nancy, what are you talking about? Are, are you on a case right now? Well, of course. I'm in Iceland. Uh, Nancy, <laughs> do you know what today is? Uh, Sunday? It's our anniversary today. We had reservations for dinner, remember? I called to see if you were on your way to the restaurant, but I guess not. Oh no, Ned. Dinner will have to wait. Dinner will have to wait. I mean, today's our anniversary, whether you're here for it or not. Dang. Can't say I'm too surprised. Laser focused on the case as usual, but <laughs> wow, Iceland of all places. Oh, so. It's their freaking anniversary. This is their boyfriend. It's their anniversary. She left to Iceland. And he's waiting at a restaurant for her. Oh. Ned, 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 Ned. Oh my gosh. He's a real pushover. I owe you a serious apology. I'm sorry. It's all right, man. That's part of why we're celebrating this anniversary in the first place. You're passionate. And that's great, and part of why we're together. I've heard of getting stood up on an anniversary, but nothing quite like this. Just bring me an anniversary souvenir from your trip, okay? Oh, you're the best, Ned. I'll make it up to you, I promise. In the meantime, I'll just fill the hole in my heart with football and this pint of cookie kringle ice cream. There's a game on tonight I really wanted to watch with Bert, so maybe it's cosmic fake. Anyways, if you're in Iceland, it must be a pretty interesting case. 
It is. Lost treasure, a missing captain, and a town with a pile of secrets. Sounds like the usual fare in Nancy world. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can give me a call anytime you want. Hint, hint, and wait for it. Stay cool. Oh boy, that was just <laughs> the worst. Hey, you stood me up. Pretty sure I get a free pass on buns for eternity. Also, I've been at this restaurant for a while and the waiter's glaring at me. I think I should get out of here. Bye, Ned. I'll give you a call soon. Bye. Wow. I will not be calling you, Ned. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That boy. Ned. What's this? If this section of the original ship was removed, then maybe others were too. Experience the magic of Skiprot's ice caves, completely unsupervised at breakneck speeds. Rid a snowmobile, snowmobile court today. Gas not included, safety equipment not included, map not included. Snowmobiles are designated as heavy machinery and extreme caution is advised. Potential hazards include sudden change in the weather conditions, minor, minor injury, moderate injury, major injury, minor death. What? Major death. Reindeer collision. Tree collision. Collision with non-tree or reindeer-like objects. <laughs> General frustration with the snowmobile controls. Wolf attacks. Regret over life choices and or everlasting inui. Uh, please observe the proper safety protocols at all times. Wow. Okay, Iceland. It's just her. Um, maybe I need to talk to her. I didn't think it was possible to be this cold. Can't you go inside? I keep asking people to fix this broken heater so I can watch over my ship. You know what Gunnar told me? Freeze for all I care. He is the worst human being. Maybe I can help you out with that heater then. Do you know how to do machine things? I've picked up a few things. I don't care what they say. You're okay, Nancy Drew. <laughs> All right, so let's. So we're gonna do this middle management Ooh. setup. That is, you do the work and I supervise. Each of those circuit pieces will attach anywhere on this board, but there are special numbers you've got to watch out for. Covered numbers add together to give that piece a total value. If you can use all five pieces to hit all five target values, the heater will be fixed. What? Hmm. You know, I'm actually not sure that's how electricity works. Oh yeah? Okay. Where'd you get your PhD in electricitology again? What? <laughs> what is electric electricitology? What is if that? you know this much, why haven't you tried to fix it yet? Hey, if I had to do all the hard thinking around here, you'd be out of a job. So, where'd you come from? The United States. Hey, me too. Where in the US? South. Ish. I'd just like to get to know you a little. I went to school. And then I had a job, and then I was married, and then I wasn't. And now wow. I have another job involving definitely legal treasure hunting activities. That's me. Are you like this with everyone? Anyone who isn't paying me. If you want to write me a check, I can tell you a sad backstory and we both can pretend it's real. Sorry, I left my checkbook at the lodge. <laughs> Maybe next time then. I mean... Are you an open book with every stranger who crosses your path? Well, no. I guess I don't like to talk about myself much, either. What's your jam? Witness protection program? Arch nemesis? None of those. I guess it's that I meet so many interesting people, I just feel <laughs> ordinary by comparison. Nah, what? everyone's normal to themselves. People think my job is all glam and adrenaline, but that all got boring years ago. Now it's just nine to five headache involving lots of diplomacy and occasional gunfire. But you, a gal your age working as a sleuth, all on your own? That's admirable. <laughs> Thanks. I guess this is my normal. I'm a pretty lucky girl. Anyways, it's probably for the best that you stay quiet. Don't talk to strangers, kiddo. It's worked out for me. That's hey. the strangest wiring panel I've ever seen. But I think the heat's on. <sighs> Toasty. Feels just like home. By the by, have you been up to Magnus's cabin yet? He has a cabin? Up in the hills? Elizabeth keeps a key in her bag. Talk about refusing to let go. But there's no way she'd ever give it to you. 
So, I'll need to find a way to get her off that deck. If I were you, I'd get a little sneaky about it. Um, need to know who was present at the time of the festival. That kind of hurts. Trying to adjust. Found a radio on Buffer and I need a key to turn it on. Can I borrow yours? Uh I need to know who was present at the time of the festival. I was there. Who else did you see? Only Gunnar. Elizabeth and Soren were thoroughly MIA. Although half of Iceland is probably related to itself, so people kinda look alike. Could have missed something. <laughs> I found a radio on board, but I need a key to turn it on. Can I borrow yours? Here you go. Okay. Hey, that was easy. Now, how do I operate the thing? I don't know. I don't have radio experience. I have business experience. Figures. Well, thanks anyway. So, how long were you working on the ship project? About two years, on and off a bit. Magnus supervised the rebuild. I provided the cash. That's a long time to hang around in Iceland. Have you been in Skip Rock all that time? Ha! <laughs> no. I think the locals would have offed me by now if that were the case. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Why's that? If you stay in one place, people start to need you and feel things about you and all that icky, weird stuff. I'm not really the having friends type. I'd like to think you and I are on friendly terms. What is this? Are we gonna hold hands and sing campfire songs now? <sighs> Get lost, Drew. Find my gold. Wow. That is not how you treat somebody who is helping you. You know what? What do you think of Gunner? In terms of the treasure? He tried to sabotage the festival last year, and the year before that. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a stunt of his. Bye bye. Bye now. This case is closed. I'm out of here. Can't check that off yet. So, about your fingers. My lucky tree? Is that Ooh. what you call them? Sure is. It's a long story. Now, there I was, out in the peach black of night, with no sign of shore and only my fishing spear. Then suddenly, I saw a shadow. It was a mighty squid, the greatest hunter of them all. Few men have lived to see it and tell the tale. So I pulled out my spear just a little too fast, mind you. And that's how you lost your fingers? <laughs> of course not. I threw the spear right overboard and I hauled that fellow into my net. Took all my weight just to keep him from wriggling free. But his strength proved too much for me. He gnashed his giant beak, and, well, I was done for. So the squid took your fingers? No, 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 no! Right as I thought I was dead, a massive shark leapt out of the waves and ate the squid. It was the sleeper shark, a solid six meters long, with four rows of teeth. He bit my arm and pulled me under as I gasped for my last breath. So it was a shark then? No! Okay. I, I managed to punch him in the nose! Do you ever fight a shark? You know how to punch him in the nose? He, he let me go, I swam like a merman, and made it back to shore. Three months later, I was in a wood shop accident. Lopped my fingers clean off. Uh, ha. Huh. At least it makes for a great story. I'll let you go. Oh. I want those 20 minutes of my life back. Anyway, it's about to storm, so I should probably stop this here. Uh, and get the heck in bed. So I am really sleepy. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, just let me know in the comments. And um, there's a little mini game here. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, just let me know in the comments. Um, like, subscribe. Comment, whatever you want. We need your help in the pub while I watch the ship. Can you serve customers tonight? <laughs> Wouldn't need the help if you'd leave the blasted ship alone.
for night. You need to stay on board. That means you need to pull your weight at once. I won't leave my chair for no tourists. If they want a drink, they can use the tap themselves. Their hands ain't broken. Can't you leave well up alone and come back to the ship, girl? The ship isn't going anywhere. It crashed. I just... I have something I still need to do. Of course you'd be selfish about helping. Just like always. Are you hiding something, now, girl? Something you're keeping from all your life? Ugh! Fine! Sit there in that stupid chair for all I care! There'll be no service at the Misty Skip tonight! Happy now? <laughs> How am I supposed to get her to go away? She is about to go back to the ship. Anyways, like I was saying. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.